But I would like to introduce a comedian who is from right here in Lafayette. Uh, could I get Abby Chu up on the stage? Abby Chu. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Yeah. So, my name is Abby Chu, and with a name like that, I know what you're thinking. Is she a Pokemon? Uh, Pikachu and I are just friends, no relation. Um, I am, however, a writer and performer from right here in Lafayette. Yeah, also a professional barista, so. Oh, I know I got some fans out there. Triple Vinti Wet Mocha, I hear you. I'll see you on Monday. Yeah. Uh, I like to introduce myself as a writer, though, instead. Uh, a little bit cooler, plus you always get the exact same response, which is like, oh, you're a writer, huh? Really? <laughs> Anything I know? <laughs> Yeah, nothing like trying to prove the validity of your vocation to the 15-year-old bad boy at Kroger. <laughs> it's like, nah, sorry, Cody. I don't write anime or porn, so <laughs> probably haven't read anything of mine. <laughs> My husband has a real job, though. He's a musician <laughs> in a rock band. <laughs> I love telling musicians what their genre of music is, especially if you just like use one word, because it's like this big anxiety-ridden process for them, you know? They're like, well, I don't know. It's pretty flippant. I mean, I was gonna say electronic fantastica funk, but whatever, I mean, whatever you want. So uh, a local blogger recently uh, blogged about my husband's band, and he called them uh, shoegaze. Have you guys heard of that before? Yeah. Shoegaze. Uh, I had never heard of it before, and I was actually really confused, because I was like, aren't all gays shoegaze? <laughs> so it's just a little redundant. Uh, I'm also a mother. Uh, true story. Yeah. yeah. I have a son. He's one and a half, and he is awesome. Um, and I don't want to get super sentimental because we're like college kids, and like this isn't the time or place. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I just want you guys to know that like it's true what they say. When you become a mother, like everything changes. You know, like all my ads on Facebook. And, you know, and the commercials they choose for me on um, Hulu. So, um, yeah, which is pretty distracting because my one great love in my life is television. Uh, anyone with me? Yeah. Ooh, as long as it's not sports or politics, I'm on it. Especially if it's reality TV. And I love toddlers and tiras. Yeah. Yeah, ooh, you're a guy, that's kind of weird. <laughs> um, flashbacks to the to earlier Girl Scout cookie scene. Um, <laughs> I actually like that scene. Uh, anyways, um, where was that? Tell us in tears, I watch reality TV. Oh, yeah, my uh, favorite right now is I didn't know I was pregnant. Have you seen that on TLC? <laughs> It's pretty awesome. It's pretty self-explanatory if you haven't seen it. And having been pregnant before, I find that show like mind-blowing because I'm like, really? You gained 60 pounds and threw up every time you passed an Arby's and <laughs> nothing. <laughs> no red flags. <laughs> Had gas like a trucker with Crohn's. <laughs> Stopped pooping. <laughs> everyday life. You're like, it was Breakfast Club, don't judge me. Uh, I also like the show Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Cheesiest show on television, I must say, but it gets me every time, you know, because they always have like little Timmy and his parents who are all allergic to the smell of their own hair. You know? <laughs> With men, within minutes, I'm just like crying with them, all tragic. Like their hair is always around. That's really hard. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and then they won't move the bus. They 
mean, just move the bun. <laughs> Have they not been through enough with the hair? <laughs> I um, have been going through this phase where I like to watch all my childhood memories of the comedians like on uh, Comedy Central Roasts on Netflix, like Bob Saget, uh, William Shatner. My favorite had to be uh, Charlie Sheen. Did you guys watch that one? Only because uh, Mike Tyson breaks Steve-O's nose. Did you guys hear about that? He like. They're both, you know, like, roasting. Anyways, uh, he's like, Mike Tyson, punch me in the face. And Mike Tyson's like, no, I don't want to punch him in the face. And uh, so he finally convinces him just to, like, stick his arm out. And he's going to, like, take a running dive, kind of like the, the guy that, like, jumped into a vagina in, earlier. <laughs> it's kind of like that. And uh, so he, like, runs, and he, like, hits him right in the face and breaks his nose and gives him two black eyes. <laughs> And like the next day, it was like all over the blogosphere, like, oh my gosh, Mike Tyson broke Steve-O's nose. And I was like, really guys, are we surprised? Because I mean, this isn't the first person Mike Tyson has fisted who ended up in the emergency room. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get it later. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm going to end on that really blue one. <laughs> So uh, the humor artists are coming up. They are from Notre Dame. Are you coming? No one's coming. There they are, right there with the suspenders. What's up, guys? Uh, we are Suspended Disbelief, the long form traveling crew from the humor artist of Notre Dame. Uh, we're going to do a piece for you today called The Slacker. Uh, and all we need from you to start off is a prompt of anything at all. Captain Texas! 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 We'll go with Texas. Look, I'm real sorry about what happened. Yeah, so am I. I remember back when I was your age, this family had things it stood for. Like, Skinning a deer if you hit it on the road. Being intolerant to immigrants. And you ain't doing none of that. Well, look, it's just, you know, it's a new generation. You can't go around doing things like that. If you kill a deer, you have to report it to, you know, a wildlife foundation. And, you know, we have to be nice to immigrants now. Says who? Well, you know. Whoever mowed my lawn, I ain't nice to him. Well, that's... Kind of racist of you. <laughs> kind of? Extremely you take that and thank you! Extremely racist. You know what, son, I think I've done wrong by you. By making me not be a racist? <laughs> I should have taught you the Texas way. Racism? <laughs> I mean, we did secede from the Union. Yeah, and look how that worked out for us. Are you kidding? Have you looked at our government? That man is a national treasure. Yeah. You know, Grandpa, uh, something I think I need to tell you, and, uh, well, I don't know if you're going to like it very much. I have a feeling I'm not going to like it at all. I, uh, you know, I just need to come to terms with, with who I am, and I, in order for that to happen, I, uh, I need... A homophobic, racist Texan, yes? A Democrat. <laughs> <laughs> you did not just put a little bitch Johnson on me, son. I... I, I voted for Barack Obama in 2008, and I'll do it again. <laughs> I have no son. It doesn't have to be this way. Who I vote for is not to find who I am. Then what does? Well, like my personality and shit. <laughs> personality didn't build this country. No. Personality didn't build this state. Your great, great, great grandfather died at the Alamo. You think he'd be happy with you voting for a Democrat? Well, I mean, back then the Democrats were pretty conservative, so maybe. <laughs> Don't you pull out your history books on me, boy. Look, Grandpa, I'm. There ain't only one book that we listen to in this household. You know what that book that is, son? Sarah Palin's biography. Exactly! <laughs> the word of the God's prophet. 
stupid Sarah Palin. <laughs> well, you know, it's just like, I can't, I can't help feeling like maybe we should be looking for better role models. Name two people who would be better role models. Uh, someone who's not Sarah Palin and someone else who isn't Sarah Palin. <laughs> I would have accept, I would have accepted Tebow as an answer, but that that is not good, son. You need to get your priorities straight. Look into that woman's eyes. See that smile, that Americana smile. What does that mean? What does that mean? Look at me. Doesn't that scream America? Maybe if you put your teeth in first. <laughs> Did God make man with artificial teeth? Great, but look, I think there's something else I need to tell you. Oh, go, go right ahead. I, I mean, this day couldn't get much worse. Well, uh, <laughs> I don't believe in God. And I voted against so Rick Perry. Too. Uh, well, well, no, I'm, I'm not really anything. I, I don't have religion. I, I don't understand. Why don't you just pick a team? <laughs> well, I, I did pick a team. See, it's like, you know, if you're trying to choose between the Cowboys and the Steelers, and you say, well, I kind of like baseball better. <laughs> you just keep piling on the evil on this household, boy. I could understand if it were Longhorns. But not to like football at all? That's the other thing this household is built on. The big book of football! Uh, there it is! See that? Yeah? That's the original Heisman. Barlow, I hate to tell you this, but uh, the book of football? What about the book of football? That's what your father's house was built on, sweetheart. Not yours. What are you saying? Honey, I think you should find your own books. Oh, so that wasn't like a metaphor or nothing. No, I think that you need to go out and get some new books besides Sarah Palin's biography in the book of football. I know your father leaves them out on the coffee table every day. Well, I guess you might be right. You know, there was, I was at the bookstore and there was a book by a fellow called Dawkins. Looks pretty interesting. The cover was all shiny. Try to heart. You need to do what your heart tells you to do. My heart's telling me I need to get out from under Dad's thumb. You know, he won't accept me for who I am. He won't, won't open himself to new ideas like not being a terrible, terrible racist old man. <laughs> now, I love your father, and I know you do too. Well, I, I know you You know, sometimes I, I just look at you and Dad, and I'm like, why? <laughs> He's just such, such a terrible person. I know. In like every way. <laughs> And that is why I love him. <laughs> it hurts sometimes. Ma, I just, I don't understand what you're saying. You always said I should go out and find me a nice girl. You want me to go out and find someone awful? I don't want the fate that I have for you. D D <laughs> what? I don't want the fate that I have to be the fate that you will have. Well, then it seems like I should go out and find someone nice and not terrible, but you're saying that terrible marriage is good or something. I'm saying that terrible marriage was good for me. Hey there. I'm glad you took me to this dance. Yeah, uh, I'm real glad you said la yes, it's uh, Luann. <laughs> <laughs> So listen, uh, <laughs> you weren't like a, a racist or nothing, right? No. <laughs> Are you? No, no, no. I'm. I enjoy all races. <laughs> Even the Mexicans. Yep. And uh, you know, you you don't like think Sarah Palin is the best thing ever, right? No. Oh. That's good. But I mean, I, I have read her biography. It is pretty. It's, it's not that good. Stay. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not much of a dancer. It's okay. My father thought dancing was of the devil. Okay, and my daddy said that too. <coughs> but now, we've turned around. Ever since daddy left, mom's become a liberal. You got your daddy to leave? Yeah. How? 
I told him I was a Democrat and he just kicked me out. <laughs> My daddy left on his own. I didn't want him to leave. Why oh. would you want your father to leave? Oh, he's he was just so hateful. I All know, the time. But... To me. Well, why don't you stand up to him? You're a man, aren't you? Are you a man? Not according to my father, but I reckon so. Well, you're a man. <laughs> can you vote in this here good United States of America? Yeah, but women can do that too. <laughs> Despite my father's wishes. I know. You should stand up to him. And you should keep dancing. We're looking strange in this dance. That's true. No, no. All the other square dance couples are kind of giving us weird looks. <laughs> You did well. Thanks. Following God's orders. You're one of my special children. Thanks. Just, I'm so glad that I could please you. Well, you don't have to curtsy. It's fine. I, I get a lot of praise in my day. I've been around for almost a century. You're just so Thank you. Please don't touch me. Sorry. Sir, you told him to stand up to his father? Yes. And he obliged? I, I, I believe so. Perfect. My plan is in full effect. What plan? Shh. To save the soul of this poor boy? No, no. <laughs> For world dominance. Wait, there was nothing about that in the good book that you wrote? <laughs> Sarah Palin's biography, I didn't read that. <laughs> okay, wrong book, sorry. You mean the Holy Bible? <laughs> yeah, you said you wrote it. If you read Revelation backwards, it says, And God, the awesome bro, We'll take over the world. <laughs> See, there's a couple people that don't believe in me. I believe in you. And to them, I give them a big old middle finger. <laughs> Godly middle finger. Does that mean I should give the middle finger to the people who don't believe in you? You, you, you humans need to stop reading into everything I say. Everything I say isn't entirely symbolic. Parables aren't supposed to be fun little stories, you know? <laughs> Turn water into wine. Is that a new dance? Uh, it's, it's, it's exactly, everything I do, you, you take it literally, and it's not, it's not literal. It's you not guys just need to back off as a race in general. Let me have my space up here. Okay. You guys just hang out down here. When I come down and I poof to give orders, then just do them. So you just tell me everything I need to do, and I'll do it for your world domination. Yours, not mine. I need you to go to Sarah Palin. God, I'm sorry. The plans for world domination. This is not panning out, God. I'm sorry. Michael, I made you Archangel for a reason. <laughs> they don't respect that down there. They don't know what the fuck that is. That's an arbitrary title you made up, God. Archangel, as in... You have the, the best arc in the stories that you tell all the kids. What the hell is an archangel? If I knew, I'd tell you a script. That sounds like a title you made up. I, no, it, was, it wasn't me. This is going to sound crazy. Mm -hmm. But God, big man up there, uh -huh. gave me that title. That's all. All right. So if you really is the messenger of God, answer me this question. Who gonna win the Super Bowl this year? <laughs> Patriots. Wrong answer, Dallas Cowboys. You're looking awful shabby to me, Archangel. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> You're looking a little tan too. You from one of them Middle Eastern countries? No, no, no. It's just that it happens really close to the sun. <laughs> That's all. That's all. I don't apply sunscreen. That's all. Yeah, I like this story. Go ahead, why don't you take a seat? You want some cornbread or maybe <laughs> maybe some water or something? Yes, please, I'm parched. A uh, rhetorical question, I'm not giving you nothing. <laughs> so, Michael, I heard that God wanted to talk to me. Yeah. I, I, Have you read my biography? <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't, Mrs. Taylor. I haven't. I'll just call me Sarah. Sarah, I'm yeah. sorry, Sarah. Well, God, well, God. This is a silly room layout. This is a broken chair. That's crazy. 
But you know, you're right, yeah, God, God read your book, loves it, thinks you have a lot of great points. Uh, there's one thing, though, uh, he doesn't think you are uh, trying hard enough to accomplish world domination. <laughs> that's, uh, that's like his one qualm with the book. So if you had to name one, the lack of world domination would probably be at the top. <laughs> oh. oh, okay, I, I wasn't clear on the orders. I thought he said, go and see if you can get Russia to be really close to your house. So I moved to Alaska and I did that whole thing. And the whole running through vice president, that whole thing nothing. But, but, okay. I did it all. Problem there is though that you lost, <laughs> right? So I mean, you're, now you're not even governor anymore, right? You, are you even still on Fox anymore? I'm on a reality show <laughs> on TLC. That's all that matters. That is real well, domination. God is, just, God is just really disappointed in you, Sarah. Just. <laughs> yeah. Disappointed. How can I make this up to him? Dominate the world, Sarah. Haven't I made that clear? Excuse me, uh, you're- Hello, citizen. <coughs> I hope you're Sarah Palin or that greeting was kind of weird. Um, look, I saw you sitting over here by yourself and uh, you know, my father really loves your book. And I was wondering if, if maybe I could just talk to you for a little while and- Of course. You know, see what, what he likes so much about you. Of course. So, uh, Mrs. Palin, in your book, you use what can only be described as a multitude of racial slurs. <laughs> that I do. And, you know, as, I just, I, I just want, you know, how can someone have so much hate in them? You always are smiling, and it just seems like if you're such a terrible person, you know, you'd be nicer to people and not call them such awful, awful things. Calling them such awful things is a very nice thing to do because then they recognize their place in society. See, <laughs> see, see, that's the kind of thing that only an insane person would say. <laughs> and you were running for the goddamn vice presidency. <laughs> My world does not make sense. Oh, it will, citizen. Oh, trust me. It will. What do you mean you didn't win? <laughs> God, I'm trying really hard. I can't. I, I tried to win them over with my charm call and my me, racial slurs. Call me the under god. I don't want to be spoken with the same name. I'm sorry. As only upstairs. <laughs> I didn't mean to offend you. Well, you did. You offended me. You know what Satan does when he gets offended? Yo yo's. It's a stress mechanism. I think I'm a bad guy, really not. I just can't quite walk the dog like he used to. <laughs> so Sarah, <laughs> Rifle Tower. Oh! I'm gonna burn it down in 20 years. <laughs> Which brings me to my next point. I need you to become a French citizen. <laughs> the accent is difficult. I've tried. You're very good with American. Perhaps you can master Thank French. I will attempt. You will succeed. We. Oui. No, we will not succeed. <laughs> oh, Satan, good, you are here. Um, look, uh, you know, it's kind of awkward, but uh, you know, God fired me from being the guy who takes the name at the gate. Um, and you know, St. Peter, that's like quite a brand. You know, everyone knows St. Peter. Um, and I was wondering, you know, if maybe you wanted me to like, you know, take names at the gates of hell now? I was St. Peter. <laughs> God can be what we can only describe as a douche. <laughs> yeah, Job was pretty rough. <laughs> it was just a parable, though. Does that, does that actually happen? I mean, I don't know. I just write names down. He never made it up here. Maybe he finally cracked. 
<laughs> Sorry, I've had You know, there's a lot of smoke with all the fire down here. It's, it's understandable. Parliament menthols. Oh. They're overpriced, but I don't care. Luxury taxes, that was me. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I was just... I was, I was a huge fan of, uh, you know, the way you did that. Uh, which brings me back to what really is my only point. Um, you know, I write really, really well. Um, I can do, like, really hard to pronounce names, even. Um, so, you know, maybe... How about Hezbollah? Uh, is it like one... Um, you see, the Z's are hard just because... <laughs> Yeah, um, anyway, I, I have writer fingers, um, so we have that in common, kind of, um, and, you know, really... I have to go. <laughs> I want a biography. The second story. I mean, that didn't work out so well for Salman Rushdie. <laughs> but I'm willing to give it a shot. Don't give it more than a shot, Peter. Or I'll kill you. JK Law. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> My God, it's hot down here. Who the hell are you? Well, uh, I was St. Peter, uh, but that title doesn't really seem appropriately anymore, so you can call me, like, Damn Peter. You what ain't the hell. You ain't Catholic, are you? No? Um, can you show? Okay. Now, what is with this place? You got no air conditioning. Well, uh, see, uh, Mr. Jenkins. Mr. Jenkins. Elijah. Zephyrus. <laughs> Mariel Jenkins. <laughs> Do you, uh, could you spell that for me? You know what? I'll just, I'll just make an X. It's good enough. Satan never checks this. Um, see, the thing is, Mr. Jenkins, uh, is that you were just really terrible for all of your life. <laughs> Name two things I've done wrong. Um, well, you punched that nun. <laughs> that was pretty bad. A man can't punch a nun who wanders onto his own property. Is that what you're telling me? I thought this was America. <laughs> Hello, Jenkins residence. Is there a void in your life? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that was pretty bad. Um, and number two? Number two, well, that time you were on the train, and the woman went into labor, and you said, I've got a ball game to get through, move the thing along! Women ain't supposed to be on the same train car and man folk! <laughs> Hello, citizen! <laughs> well, I'd say this is a surprise, but uh, I also watch TLC, so I'm not that surprised. <laughs> You'll watch my show. It's the only channel we get in hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. You really shouldn't, but okay. <laughs> okay, well, I think my name is already on the list. I did pretty good work for that world domination thing. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, the Sarah Palin... Federal Collective. It's actually the reason you're down here. You killed so many people. <laughs> Just like, I was talking to Satan, and he was like, damn, I'm pretty good at this, but that girl, she can kill people. <laughs> you impress Satan with your capacity to kill people. That's what he does. Get my lips dipped. I found the whole operation. Coming into my territory. <laughs> Killing I'm, people. That's my. <laughs> I'm working dip. I'm working so hard to impress you, Satan. We don't have to overstep your grounds, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> kill one person, kill two. Start a holocaust and I murder you. <laughs> JK Lol, I love it. <laughs> so, uh. <laughs> You're, you're the actual, real devil. And now that I have died, it turns out that I do have a soul, and now I am in hell. Correct. <laughs> did I tell you, or did I tell you? 
he told you. <laughs> he did. But, uh, you know, that was just after he told me that women shouldn't vote, so I kind of just tuned him out. <laughs> and now I'm in hell. Always respect your elders. Satan's number one rule. That, oh, that's Satan's number one rule? <laughs> against your own father so badly that you are the embodiment of evil and your number one rule is respect your elders? What the hell, man? Can I still say that? Maybe, maybe I fudged a little bit. Guilty. That's our show. Thank you guys so much. Down here we have Elise, Doug, oh, Park Park. Miranda, Connor, Paco, and my name is Alec. Thank you guys so much for being a great audience.